Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Next Genesis style atomizer out from Vapeware Mods. Vapeware Mods company are from Greece, um, who brought us the Next Gen and the Nextony, and now this is sort of like their third in their trilogy of uh, Genesis style atomizers, the Next Assist. Um, now you're probably very aware of the Next Gen or even the Nextony, that amazing devices, amazing um, atomizers as well, brought a lot of people back uh, into sort of the mesh build game, uh, and brought a lot of people who were a bit, you know, put off by mesh or a bit worried about mesh and its builds uh, to try it and succeed because it had a really easy way of wicking and it made everything really nice for you, had uh, airflow control, etc, etc, looked great as well, and now they've sort of gone and took a look at it again and brought it into sort of 2016 and, uh, and, and done some um, mod modifications to it to actually suit various style of vaping. Now let's just get on with the specs. Um, it's made of 304 grade stainless steel, 22 mil in diameter, and only 30 mil, 39 mil in height, including the drip tip. It comes with a full Pyrex glass tank and also a full stainless steel tank. With the stainless steel tank on, it will hold up to 5ml of juice, which is the same as what the next gen held. And with the Pyrex glass tank, it will hold up to 4.2ml of juice. We've got a 6.5mm uh, diameter chamber in this centralised wicking method. And it also comes with two different style decks. We have one with sort of very small triple, uh, um, small triple holes at the bottom, for sort of regular feeding your juice to the stainless steel mesh. Or we have one that's completely open at the bottom to sort of cater for higher VG juices. So, you know, if you're into sort of lower milligram strength but higher VG, then that will basically feed to that wick no problem. You know, you won't get any dry hits, it won't have any problem feeding to it, it's nice and open. On the standard deck, we've got a 3.2 mil wick hole, and on the open deck, we've got a 3 mil wick hole as well. It comes with three different types of drip tips as standard. Uh, basically, they're threaded on. You get one full stainless steel and you get one black and one white Delrin drip tip. Um, what else have we got going on here? The airflow control options as well. Now, this is pretty cool. I don't know if you remember on the next gen and the next gen, you had to buy different rings to basically shut off. It comes with sort of like dual airflow holes, yeah? We've got like from uh, 0.8 to 1.6 and yet dualed, okay? Uh, on the next gen, on the next gen, we had different sort of airflow control rings that would shut one of those off so you'd have a single slot or a dual slot. Well, on this one, you don't need to buy any extra rings. You can basically adjust it. You have one sort of position here which will just do from 0.8 to 1.6 on a single slot or you have three other options there where it will open them all up so you can use all all three sort of um, all double slots but on all um, of the airflow options so technically giving us 10 different types of airflow control you know and actually now being able to give this a uh, restricted lung hit you know um, which is pretty damn cool you haven't been able to really do that before on a uh, next gen or an next to me unless you completely left the rings off um, but on this one now you've got a lot more option for that and you can actually get a restricted lung hit off of this now and with that open uh, deck as well like I said you can feed now a lot higher VG juice on this so I'm just gonna take a quick blast now I've got um, a 0.8 build on here on some 300 mesh with five wraps of 0.3 canthal vaping it at 20 watts with vaking king slime which is a 50 50 juice I do have the open deck on this um, and uh, it's just flavor central and I've got this on the widest setting of 1.6 on a dual on dual slot, both open. Very, very nice indeed. You do actually get some add-ons as well that will be available for this. Um, there's a 30mm extender tank, which I've got at the moment on my top hat, uh, basically which will allow you to hold 6.5mm of juice and will sit on any sort of 30mm width mod uh, that you've got and make it look very swanky. And you can also get a... Um, a sort of a stainless steel and half polycarbonate tank as well, like we uh, originally saw their sort of style on their next gen and on their next to -nies. Well, before I get into any more details about this price, what I think about it, and where to get it from, etc., 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 let's take a pop down at the table now. Let's have a look at it up close. Have a look at the uh, all the different options. Bung a wick in it, and then we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping.
shave. So upon receiving your next assist, it will come to you in this rather nice little box, uh, very exactly the same as what you got with the next Nextony and the Next Gen with the Vapeware Mods logo on the top. Open it up. Greeted with your auth um, yep, authenticity code there. And then you've got your bits and pieces. You've got your atomizer itself. You've also got a stainless steel tank and uh, two other drip tips here. You've got a white Delrin and a stainless steel. And I've got a black Delrin already on my next assist. You'll also get a bag of spares. And uh, as you do with all of them, you get the uh, O-rings. You get a couple of spare screws. You get a coiling tool. And you also get a spare top nut. Now, you will also get a, another deck inside of the uh, package like i've got here but i've actually already got a build on this and this is the open deck as you can see at the bottom there it is fully open this is to allow more vg higher juices to get wicked um, to allow wicking on your build and uh, you'll have to build that from scratch at the beginning really you get the deck piece then you've got to put in your center piece your top nut and also your insulator and 510 as well it's very sort of self-explanatory when you get it but you will have to put this together only once but then you'll have a complete spare deck at your disposal so uh, now let's have a quick look at the next assist itself so here you have your next assist 304 grade stainless steel get a full pyrex glass tank here also get a stainless steel one in the box. Comes with three different types of drip tips. These are threaded, so you can actually unthread one of the drip tips here. So you have a heat resistant piece here. And easily thread on one of the other two option of drip tips. White Delrin. And also stainless steel. very nice indeed 22 mil in diameter so we've got top airflow on these we have three two mil dual airflow slots we'll take the top cap off very easy to remove the tank held on by an o-ring there and then the option just to change is very simple you do have the option of buying a uh, polycarbonate and stainless steel tank here that will be sold separately so again they just go on nice and easy and also your stainless steel tank as well now let's just remove this section here by pulling on the drip tip you can actually remove your airflow control system and here's where you're going to see the different options for airflow we start here with dual 1.6 all the way down to dual 0.8 and if you look on the top section here you'll see these little dots these dots will line up with the dots on your airflow to get your airflow and the big dot here where is that big dot so you can see the larger dot this one here that is for your single slot airflow so if I wanted to use say the largest option here the 1.6 but I only wanted single slot I would line that up completely with the larger dot click down and I will now be getting single slot 1.6 mil airflow but if I wanted to change that and open that to dual I move to one of the other three airflow dots and now I'm fully open at dual 1.6 mil. So it's as simple as that really. You can easily change the airflow options whilst it's all put together. And you've got 10 different types obviously of airflow options by changing around your different airflow slots. Whether it be single slot or dual slot. Nice and simple. Probably sounds a lot more uh, complicated than it is. So we'll remove that. And then we'll remove your chamber section 6.5 mil in diameter for this section here Let me just that's it. take this base off and here you have your deck itself as you can see, we've got that centralised wicking method here. This has got a 3.2mm wick hole there. Top nut acts as your positive. 
and then your negative at the bottom. You can see on the deck it is beveled to allow any juice to run down and also has a little opening by the negative to make it very simple to wrap that coil round for your build. Got thick peak insulators at the bottom. Slightly adjustable 510, but that would bring this bar down as well. It's all one piece. And with the same with the other deck, as I showed you earlier, all, everything is the same. Apart from now, we have this completely fully open section here. And you can see how much juice and how much thicker the juice can be to get to that wick compared to the small hole on the other deck. You can see that hole there which would feed your juice. You'd want to use, say, 50-50 on that or higher PG juices. But then on this one, the size of the holes are fully open. I mean, even when I'm using a 50-50 juice, um, the, the flavour is just out of this world with this deck. It really is. But if you want to use higher VG, higher wattage, and the fully opened airflow for that restricted lung hit, then definitely this is the deck you'll want to use. So... Uh, Let's put this back together and then we'll um, we'll get a build in it, see how she vapes. So I'm just going to start out here, I've got a bit of 300 mesh that I've cut to 15mm in height and made sure it's uh, just under 3mm in diameter, uh, sorry, just uh, it's about 3mm in diameter actually. I'm using the open deck at the moment as you can see there. So I just want to slide that on. Make sure it goes down nicely, not touching the sides, so it's free to move. You can see that at the bottom there. I just want to keep it just slightly erased above the uh, bottom of the uh, top of the deck at the bottom there. I'm going to take my top nut, and I'm just going to feed a bit of 0.3 canthal through the top. There we go, which is my uh, acts as my positive. I'm going to find just the groove slot, which is there. A little groove made in that centre post. And I'm going to screw down that nut for the positive. And there we go. And basically I just want to turn this, I want about four or five wraps. That's one. Not too tight, but making sure that my wire is completely touching the mesh and I've lifted up my negative already makes it really nice and simple by using those grooves just to go directly under that negative there screw that down there we go I just want to snip that off straight away get that out of my way you don't really want any of that hanging about either so just snip that off there we go gone okay and then we just want to start pulsing and uh well have a little look see how nice and even those coils are make sure they're nice equal amount of space between them I'm going to bring my wattage down just to about 9 watts just to start pulsing might need a little bit more power Got to 10. Bit of a hot spot at the top there. Just move that bit. Still a little bit of a hot spot at the top. I'm 
There we go. All it nice and even. That's fine for me. Nice and simple. Take the uh, top piece off, trim that, and then build back up your next uh, next assist. Excuse me, sorry. Let's just screw this chamber section back on. Find my airflow. Remember to use the the big the big sort of mark for your single slot. And the others for the dual slots. Find my tank. Then we can fill straight away. Holds 4.2 mil with the Pyrex glass tank or 5 mil with the stainless. Spilling it everywhere. And then put on my top section. just at 1.1 ohm so I'll put that up to about 17 watts for now and take a vote lovely so there you have your next assist so there you have the next assist and uh, wow it's just uh, it's a really really cool Genesis style atomizer, it really is. And with those two different deck options as well, it does now cater for sort of both sides of the spectrum, whether you've got people who are more into flavor and restricted airflow, or people who basically want to do higher VG juices and just get some sort of a lung hit on the firm, some sort of a restricted lung hit going on there. As with their previous other two atomizers, it looks great. You know, it really does look cool. Very minimalist, very simple, but still very classy and very chic. You know, we do have a, a nice sort of a bunch of gear you get with it out of the box. You know, you get your three different drip tips. You get a full Pyrex glass tank, a full stainless steel tank as well, which is great. You know, you also get two decks now to cater for both styles. Um, you get some spares. You get a little coiling tool as well, like you got with the previous uh, uh, models and and also the airflow on it now is is just improved totally and you won't need to buy anything else to be able to sort of accommodate to open up both slots or to close one off even you know uh, now off the bat you can choose which sort of airflow you want all the way up from the 0 point, 0 0.8 to 1.6 or jeweled you know to get even more you do get a nice restricted uh, lung hit off of this if you want and when you close it all the way down to sort of like a single slot on 0 0.8 you get a very, very nice, very nice mouth to lung as well. So uh, some great options there. Build quality is fantastic as always, you know, um, and it's just the fit and finish is uh, really nice on this as well. The tolerances are great. The brush finishes are beautiful as well, and it looks great with whichever tank you want on it. To build it, Extremely simple again with that centralized wicking method, you know, with that stainless steel rod center that holds your wick firmly in place. You've got that nice little beveled deck where the negative sits with those two holes cut out to be able to get that negative round really nice and easily with the groove into that centralized post as well for your wire lead to sit through as you put your top nut on. You know, once again, you've got to make sure that mesh doesn't hit the bottom, otherwise you may get a short, so just lift it off a little bit, but we've had that with the previous two atomizers as well. The flavour on this is just extraordinary with that open de uh, with that open deck you know i know it was designed for um for higher vg juices but i've also been using that with a 50 50 and uh it's just the, the flavor is just so intense just so much juices get into that wick and it's not over wicking either so that's really good indeed i have tried some 80 20 vg in the vg pg in this as well and it wicks an absolute dream and i mean it's got such a nice flavor to it almost rda style flavor and with the luxury of using mesh as well which for me personally just gives the best flavor you can get out of any sort of build 
And because, once again, like on the next gen and on the next to me, because you do have that centralised post keeping that mesh straw really nice and sort of tight and firm, not going anywhere, not bending anywhere, it's really easy to call this. It's really easy to get this to wick. And uh, it's really cool and keeps it there for a long, long time. I mean, you can have, the, with any mesh build, the build can last for, for near months, for a few months, rather than changing it every couple of weeks with, say, a cotton build or something like that. To change the airflow, really nice and simple, just a little click up. Because your uh, your mesh, your build is held sort of inside there on that straw, you can take your uh, airflow control out anytime you want to, or just give it a click up. Change to where you want to go, making sure that dot mixes with the other three dots, or wherever you want to go, and it's simple to change. All in all, I think it's bloody fantastic. It really is. It's uh, it's not the sort of next to knee off the top spot of the Genesis atomizers for me. Once again, they keep improving each time. And for me personally, this is probably the best Genesis style atomizer I've ever, ever used, you know. And with those different options, I, th I think a lot of people are going to find it's the, the one for them as well. If you're frightened of mesh, uh, if, if you don't, if, if, wish, if mesh has never really worked for you, I do recommend giving this or the next to me or a next gen a spin because it really does help with building. They really do uh, cater for sort of mesh builds and uh, makes it a lot easier than sort of like the old technique of just putting it in with no post there holding it um, so it's got no sort of strengthening and uh, it really makes mesh builds a doddle. Yep, all in all, let me just change back to my double slots. That flavour is insane. All in all, absolutely stunning. It really is. Um, the flavour on it is just out of this world. It beats the next to me and it beats the next gen. Uh, it beats the Inaxes. For me, personally, for flavour, it's just, especially with that open deck, it's just extremely intense. You know, um, it really is nice indeed. The overall looks of this thing are, are great. The size of it are only 39mm in height and, and yet it can hold 5 mm juice with the stainless steel tank on. It's pretty damn hot as well. The fact that you can get an extra like the 30mm extender here that holds 65 mm juice. Very easy to fill as well just by taking off the uh, your top ring here, your top cap here. And the ease of changing those airflow methods, really, really great indeed. Um, I highly, highly recommend the Next Assist. You know, even if you have the Next Gen or the Next Knee, or if it's your first time wanting to dabble with some mesh and you have some money to play with, I highly recommend the Next Assist. It uh, really does cater for a lot of vaping styles. Now, to get one, you'll either need to be a member of the Vapeware uh, Mods group. I'll put the link in the description. There is going to be a variety of lists all over Facebook in different groups. I know there's one in SV. There'll be one in UVA. I believe there won't be one in Hemo. Uh, there might be one in DAV. I'm not sure, but... Um, and we'll also be having them on the Vapeware Mods group as well. The extras like the uh, split stainless steel and polycarb tank and the 30mm extender will only be available in sort of online shops. I will keep you updated where that will be and um, I will go back and add the links when they are live. But um, the atomizer itself will only be available via list situation on uh, Vapeware or those other groups that I have mentioned. Now the price for the Next Assist on its own, um, basically with all those bits that I've said, which is the stainless steel tank, the Pyrex glass tank, the two decks, the atomizer itself, three drip tips, spares pack... Um, will be 210 euros which is about 165 167 pound uh, depending on um, currency um, the extender if to get that separately that'll be 35 euros and the extra polycarb stroke stainless steel tank will be 19 euros so the full kit's going to cost you about 264 euros in total which uh, is a lot of money you know coming on about 210 pound but you get a lot bang for your buck here and uh, it really is an exceptional exceptional atomizer indeed
bloody, bloody marvellous. So that's the next next assist. Um, 304 grade stainless steel, 22mm in diameter, 39mm in height, including the drip tip. Three drip tips are included, one stainless steel, two Delrin, black and white, pirate's glass tank, stainless steel tank, two decks, um, uh, 10 options for airflow control, um, options for a 30 mil extender, you know, and um, a 6.5 mil chamber, and really, really easy to build, really, really gorgeous vape, and a partridge in a pear tree, you know, highly, highly recommend it, and if you haven't built mesh before, then this is the bastard you want to build it in, because uh, it's just phenomenal. So thank you very much for watching this review, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.